52. The Jerry Ryan Show, Monday to Friday, 9 till 12 on 2FM. All right, take a listen to this. Mark, open the door. Look, you have to start thinking about this, Mark, okay? I see we've got about two options, okay? Just get the police. That is not one of them. The first one involves beards and Morocco. And the other one is that we try and figure out how to explain this to anybody else that is not as totally fantastic and ludicrous. And look, there's three dead people, right? Two men and a woman. There's no other dead people. Mark, is there any other dead people? No, good. David was under the chandelier. And then it fell and he died. And then Jack comes in with the toolbox and you challenge him. Oh, I murder him. You know, you manslaughter. Yeah. And then Sally comes in and she sees Jack <laughs> and she throws herself on the clarinet stand. Why? Because, because they're shagging. Because they're, they're man-womaning. They're, what? <laughs> As film titles go, a film with me in it has to be one of maybe more of the un, more of the uh, most unusual. In fact, we've come across in quite a long time. But who is this me, and what is this about? Well, firstly, it's an Irish film, a dark, very dark Irish comedy. Um, the me refers to Irish actor Mark Doherty, and he plays a struggling actor who seeks counsel with his friend and upstairs neighbour, who's played by the award-winning comedian and actor Dylan Moran who's in the middle, apparently, of his latest stand-up tour in the UK and still half sane, I gather. He has not yet reached the five-week limit. Dylan joins us on the line right now. Dylan, good morning to you. Morning there, Jerry. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Well, it's, it almost... It has a touch of the... Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. It's got that nice kind of... Our three... No, our four... It's got that kind of sense to it ludicrous you almost don't know why you're laughing there isn't a punchline but it's absolutely hilarious oh good i'm glad you think so yeah well uh, we had a great time making it you know i just wanted a lot of people to see it if possible now um the fact that it's an irish film i personally believe is irrelevant it's got to be good and it is good um you bring something unique of course to it and that's a kind of a, a troubled confused um certainty uh, yeah, that, I, I'll go with that. That's fine. Um, you, Mark, Mark is Mark is fantastic in the film. You know, he does he does he gives great um, um, deadpan or um, passive panic. He's uh, amongst other things. He um, I kind of I slap around a bit more than Mark, I suppose, mm-hmm. so we bounce off each other pretty well. Are you in the bath? Yeah. Are you naked? Well, no, Jerry. Usually, when I get into the bath, I put on my salister, you know, and my lead boots. Well, you, yeah, I'm naked. <laughs> but you're you're moving the water around. Well, what do you what you get in the bath, Jack, without moving the water? Okay. Are you? Archimedes, are you, Archimedes has covered that a long time ago. Are you touching yourself? Am I touching myself? Parts of me are touching other parts. Okay. This is inevitable. Can you see your privates? <laughs> no, I can't. Because, you know, I'm, Have you from put Meath, I'm from Meath, so my trunk is 200 miles long. And, of course, my parts, as you so eloquently put it, are, are on the side of my back. So there's no way I could see them. Is this, uh, I mean, are you rehearsing what are you, something? What are you worried about? I'm not asking you to get in the bath. Relax. Are you re- is this in the show? I mean, are you, are you rehearsing something? Anything, Jerry. This is a rehearsal. You're talking. We're talking, and you, you, you need to grow up and get over the fact that I'm a wet, naked man. You know, you see, I'm finding it strangely arousing. Yeah, well, something seems strange at first. Anyway, um, how's the tour going? The tour is good. Um, people are coming into the right building, and um, are they nice to you? By and large, yeah, they, they, they are. People, people need. I think people need to go out. No, when I watch to get. Yeah, they do need to get out. They need to smile and laugh, and that's kind of your obligation to to make that happen. I watched recently. Um, you and a bunch of fellas. I think it was in um, uh, in Vicker Street. I think it was uh, maybe the Amnesty. Was it the Amnesty? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I looked at it. It's like everybody's funny. You and Tommy are hilarious, though, in it. And it's this kind of. Compulsion, this you know, your the a mania that you have in that particular performance, and I hadn't seen it for such a long time. And I went, oh, this is why I actually like this guy so much because he's so driven. 
I, I can't remember that. Can you not? That's but, a pity. Because um, that was the most, that's the central piece of my interview, that bit. Okay, alright. Fuck. <laughs> what are we going to do? I can't remember that, but that. Could you that, not make up something? Can you not react in a way that sounds like you remember it and that, that what I've okay, just said is meaningful? Pivot, it was a pivotal moment for me. Yeah. That was when I decided I was going to go blonde and stay that way. <laughs> Now, um, Alan Maloney is uh, one of the names involved in this, and Alan is an old friend and yeah. somebody who has a fantastic commitment uh, to film. Um, and, you know, it's, an, it's a great opportunity, I think, for you and for the other actors. But how, how do you, what, what's the difference between, what, not what you're doing now, which is obviously rude, but um, the difference between the stand-up and the, and the film world? I mean, are they entirely different? Pretty much, yeah. Um, uh, stand-up is, uh, is a load of... Like, if you see those panel things that are on a lot of the yeah. time on television, you do. Somebody said, this, it's, it's weird watching them because you just get four people or six people or whatever yeah. it is, and they kind of talk into the middle of the air. Yeah. And uh, they're not really relating to anybody else. And that that's, you can't have that, any, obviously, in anywhere near a film because it's all about... It's all about not the person, but what's going on between people you know, up there on the screen. If there's no relationship, but if there's no convincing relationship, there's absolutely nothing going on. And is that a freak out? But because, you know, you have the oxygen of the audience and you can change what you're doing if you wish, if you dare. But because you can't do that in the film because it's completely repetitive and clinical. Uh, is it death to comedy most of the time? Well, hang on, what do you... What, the film, what, what, making it's a movie. Oh, and I can it can be, sure, it can be, but it's not... Uh, that's when people, when people don't trust what they're doing, which um, we did. You know, they look like they're not really convinced, and if they're not convinced, they're not going to convince you. But uh, we were very convinced about what we were doing, and it was a very tight band. You mentioned Alan, who produced it. It was great at getting it happening in the first place. Um, Ian uh, Fitzgibbon, the director, did a great job with limited means. And Ian did Paths to Freedom, I remember, because it was small and right. that Ian uh, is very Michael talented. Martin, yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, Mark is terrific. The whole, and the, the cast is terrific. Ashley Sullivan's in it, Abby Hoodman's in it, and uh, Keith Allen's in it. And they all give a really good turn. Now, I, I have a text here. I, I really don't know what this means, but I'll, I'll ask it because it's a public service. Um, uh, Dylan, is it true that you used to eat anything that kids gave you in school, literally anything for money? Brian and Kevin wants to know. I mean, you know... Is that true, is you it? You think you get away and then they suck you right back yeah, in. Yeah, they you know? bring you back. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 I, I haven't heard that story before, but it, it could well be true. Maybe it's one of those episodes, you know, that I, I prefer, not to, prefer not to remember. Maybe it's who I really am. I don't know. Maybe I was worm guy when I was eight. I can't remember either. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I used to remember a lot of Marietta Biscuits. A lot of Marianne. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody ever tell you there's anything wrong with Marietta Biscuits. Um, it's, it's been a pleasure speaking with you this morning. The movie goes on nationwide re- release from this evening. Um, the one thing I'm glad is that you will be clean. You're hygienic. Yeah, Gary, what have you done with the soap? It's the most hygienic interview we've had all day. Okay. Thank you and good all morning. Right. God good bless you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. A nice man and clean, which is good.